yeah, I got the game all in my hand, ooh, and yeah. Hello, and you are now tuned in to the only universe mode that matters. I am Christian. And I'm Justin. And we are back with part two of Sunday Night Heat, Jesse, and we had to keep the tradition alive. We are still recording on a Sunday. Um, mm, yeah, that's true. Just about two weeks after the, the original recording. A lot has been going on, and I'm sure we will tell you guys all. Um, but we do got to talk about what we got going on in the moment, and what we got going on in the moment is a continuation of the Gold Rush Tournament. This is my tag team tournament, Jesse. We got Banger Bros. So far, an 0-1 team going up against a new team. Mm -hmm. um, this tournament for me was pretty much uh, a great way to introduce a bunch of tag teams, and, and I pretty much fueled it as I have a locker room filled with talent that wants to put gold around their waist. These two gentlemen want to put gold around their waist, and, and I won't tell you how they met, but um, they were able to bond together pretty easily, Jesse. Um, that's all I would say. Oh, okay. It is going to be RVD and Matt Riddle, the best buds. I caught them backstage. Um, I'll, I'll stop my statement there, Jesse. It's, <laughs> it smelled amazing, I must say. Um, but these two guys are going to have full energy. I know Rob Van Dam is an older gentleman, but whatever energy he lacks, Matt Riddle will provide. And, uh, you know, it's, it's all about matching with these two guys. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody puts five on it, the other person got to make sure it comes correct. Mm -hmm. But that's a conversation for a different day, Jess. I'm really excited for this team specifically. Um, it was this and Brock Amore that were, that were like my two teams that I really wanted to, to see how they'll do. We saw how Brock Amore did against Edge and Christian earlier this mm -hmm. this this pay-per-view. Yeah, um, looked great. They looked great. And I, I'm, I'm 3-0 right now, Jesse. So you do have to get a win. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be the best buds. And I'm going to be the brown brown. There we go. Yeah, it's cool to see uh, Matt Riddle and uh, RVD as a, a tag team, I, I must say. Um, RVD being back with uh, Matt Riddle is, uh, I think, something you wanted to do last year. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think but, so. But uh, we just didn't, you're, I just didn't have, them, have, I didn't just have enough have, time. I yeah. had them fight in a match. And there was no like reason for it to yeah. happen. The fact that I had this tournament this year, that was all the reasoning I needed. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I, I, I'm really, I'm really excited for my whole roster scene now. To be honest with you. Oh wow! I, I, I feel like I have a nice combination of single superstars, and now people in a tag team that can kind of like show face in, in both divisions. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be super exciting moving forward, Jesse and Maverick off to a bang. Um, of consistency thus far, tagging in his partner R RVD. Mm -hmm. um, Jess, it, it has been a little while, uh, two weeks since we recorded. Yes, I do apologize for the hiatus, guys. Um, some real life stuff been going on. Uh, last week, I actually threw a little party and whatnot, and I ended up getting engaged. Um, yeah. So that was something I planned out for very far in advance, so mm -hmm. my mind has been in multiple places and not just on the YouTube channel. But uh, now that everything's done, it is time to buckle down and focus on the only universe mode that matters just a little bit. Um, but time just to, time to settle down as well. Christian uh, finally tied the knot, which is great to see. Well, I think I technically tie the knot officially when I get married. I'm not there just yet. Um, true. Yeah, true. But I mean, I pretty much. I, I feel like I've been married my whole life. <clears throat> um, oh, super kicks! From double the, super kicks, buds. Jesse, from the corner of the best buds. But um, obviously, I've been great, man. How you been? Yeah, I've been good. Um, I think we discussed uh, that I don't have a car about a week or two ago. And you still time. don't, do you? Still don't. Uh, nice. They started to rip it apart, though, and look at the damage and order parts, and we'll be going from there very shortly, and uh, hopefully have it by the end of the month. So how are you getting to work? Uh, my dad's been, He's just been, been driving me, yeah. I mean, I, li I live two miles away from where I work, and my dad's a morning person just like me. Uh, he wakes up literally every day. And my dad's retired. He's been retired for six years, and... He uh, always wakes up at you know, 6 a.m. sharp, coffee, you know, looking at uh, Coffee Yankees. at 6 a.m.? Uh-huh. Looking coffee. at the Yankees. Who wants to put the jokes that time? He starts, he starts yeah, he, he starts his mornings. <laughs> oh, uh, bad. Yeah, very badly. Uh, with oh, how, uh, my God, Matt how Riddle. the Yankees have been horrible this season. But uh, now he, he has, like, his own little routine. 
wake up, uh, coffee, watch, you know, Sports Center, read his emails, kind of go from there, go on, you know, Twitter, Facebook, and just enjoys his morning. Do you still get emails when you're retired? Uh, well, he's subscribed to literally every website known to man. Uh, his emails are like insane. He'll get at least probably 200 emails. God damn. Yeah, he's uh, he's crazy when it comes to his emails. I tell him, like, Dad, you know how you could like, unsubscribe from like stuff like you don't need or like spam uh, websites and stuff like that? And he'll be like, Oh, how do I do that? And it's just like, Oh my god, like, he, I have one of those parents where they forget everything. Uh, and they're like, how do I do this? How do I do that? And I'm like, Dad, I showed you how to turn your Bluetooth off and on like three days ago. Like, I think you, I, I think eventually once you once you, you <clears throat> leave the house, they'll have to kind of figure out how to do things on their own. That's kind of how it happened with yeah. my parents. Yeah. Um, Cause my mom would Ooh. like call me over and be like, Hey, my Fire Stick isn't working. And I'm mm-hmm. like, what, the, what do you want me to do? You want me to tap in? Am I yeah. IT? Like, McIntyre getting involved. There for a quick second. Oh, Matt Riddle, Master Versal on Seamus. But yeah, parents are, are funny, man. Especially oh, and oh, then Seamus on a roll up, roll up with on the wrong the man. Unofficial uh, one in the match. Uh, but yeah, parents are uh, are funny sometimes, especially with my dad and my mom being in their uh, late 60s. It's just like they just don't know how to use technology like we do. And uh, it, it's always a, a laugh. Well, listen, man, I don't know how to turn the smart TV on. Like, what do you mean? It's the power button, you know? Everything's Stuff a full like circle, man. One day it's going to be happening to us. And we're no, like, how do we fact. control our AI vacuum cleaners? Or something like that. That's a fact. This man Riddle is stunned. He better get out of here if he's stunned in the ring. Oh, nice little Spanish flag. And Sheamus just recently retired RVD. Is he looking to do it? I mean, recently mm-hmm. retired Edge. Is he looking to do it to RVD now? Yeah, I wonder if uh, that is actually going to be Ooh. true. Does Edge really uh, retire now? I think I, that was at least what he was saying in his last match in Toronto. Mm-hmm. So, I think it's I possible we get to see him and Christian in AEW. Call me crazy. Um, I mean, Wouldn't that be kind of cool one I've last seen time? That too. I don't know if I see Edge being that type of guy, though, to be honest with you. Neither do I. Yeah, he's very loyal with WWE for sure. He's been there. Oh, didn't like, he didn't much. budge once. Like, yeah. Christian, you know. Even, even when he came back to, like, yeah. he came back to the WWE because mm-hmm. that's where he left off. Um, on Sheamus with the uh, overhand rights on the, the rope here of Matt Riddle as Drew McIntyre tries to put RBD. And it up. gets reversed. Partners roll out here. And Sheamus looking to get the finishing move on RVD, but I did not have my own. Oh, beautiful work there from Drew. I think we're seeing good work from both parties thus far, Jesse, but at this current moment, Sheamus seems to be overpowering the whole team of the best buds. Yeah, kind of wild how uh, Sheamus never wrestled Edge. Uh, I know Sheamus obviously came into WWE when Edge was on his way out after he uh, broke his neck in back in, what was that, 2010, 2011? So that's when Sheamus was, you know, getting pushed to the moon, beating Johnson and becoming world champion and stuff like that. Uh, But yeah, the the match was really good. Uh, Glad they, you know, got something done and put Edge over in Toronto, which was great to see him you know, winning one last time there. Oh, did you go, go for RKO? Yeah, we're first Oh, and damn, I just waxed you with a kick. He looked like he was going to go for an RKO. Oh, and right over the ropes. Okay, Probably beat down. Drew McIntyre waiting for Naruto to get back in the ring. Get on in. Oh. Completely missed. Into the corner. No RVD though. Some kicks. It would be a, uh, a great way for Best Buds to win in their debut against, you know, veterans in Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, you know. And, and, I, and I would hate to see them go 0-2, but yeah, so would I. I would love to see... Uh, in this tournament, it's hard, man. I want every team to win, to be honest with you. I wanted every team to win except Pretty Deadly. Oh! 
and pretty deadly win. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no I, matter what, they I was, all get a victory. I, I, was, I was drawing no up the what. next bracket because we're probably recording Rider Day, and good luck to Pretty oh, Deadly. Um, they got Brock Amora next. Oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, hey, anything can happen. Pretty Deadly is. Uh, I mean, they showed us that. Yeah, they've been looking. They've been looking good. Oh, I hopped off right in time there. What is what is RVD thinking? Probably a back suplex five, I guess. Oh, I don't know. DDT. DDT. Oh, uh, oh, and double team here on RVD. Here we go. This is what I want. Oh, and a nice drop kick on RVD. Oh, oh, and that's gonna that's gonna put him down. Oh, and a bro kick. And that could be. I don't know it. if he's the legal man, Jess. He isn't. He isn't. That's that's a new move on uh, my part. But I hit the bro kick with Sheamus, and Matt Riddle is actually back up here. Couldn't trip him? That's crazy. That's the big clothesline. These guys are battling it out. Oh, nice pick. And play. now RVD rolls out. That's a veteran if I ever seen one. Drew McIntyre can't pick up Matt Riddle there. Riddle should have stayed on him. Oh my goodness. And Drew McIntyre went flying. The intensity and the pace of this match has definitely Risen. increased over Absolutely. the last few minutes. Now two on one. Uh oh! Oh. Some elbow drops. Nice little bro Derek on the outside. That's clean. Matt Riddle doing his job. RVD get to the top here. Oh! And somehow connected with, with Sheamus. Oh, and a Claymore! And a Claymore! Oh my goodness. What a sequence there. Okay, here we go. If I could somehow get Matt Riddle down. It's, oh my goodness, and he's actually fighting. As a bro mission! He's Not the legal man, but... Oh, nice. I think he actually tapped. Oh my goodness, and I actually didn't get that clothesline off. And I get stunned off an Irish whip. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, and that's that's a clean frog splash. That could be it. Ref is distracted. 4-0? 4-0! Wow, I didn't think I was actually going to... I thought I was going to kick out of that, but I guess not. That was a good match. Last few minutes of that match uh, I was fine. were pretty insane. I hit that uh, Claymore on, and, and I believe you, it was RVD, and then Riddle just kept fighting and fighting and kept the match alive, and uh, the you know the momentum swung right back in the way of Best Buds, and they just get their first victory, beating two, world champ two former world champions in Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Uh, it sucks to see Banger Bros going 0-2, but a uh, great debut from, we've seen it from Brock Amora, and we've now seen it from Best Buds. Uh, the new tag teams on Monday Night Raw are starting off to a very strong start. And uh, it's looking good for Matt Riddle and RBD. Yeah, Jesse. And uh, Best Buds moving forward have Angle and Gable That's next good, round. That's and another Brock good tag Amora team. has pretty deadly... Oh, man, this tag team tournament is absolutely heating up. Whoever you thought might be the favorites, you might be able to throw that away. Who knows anymore? Uh, you hit me with a bro kick inside. You were the mm -hmm. wrong partner at the time. You hit me with a Claymore inside. Could have probably had it, but... Yeah, Riddle um, just, you know, defended well and kept the match alive. And then, uh, yeah. The best RVD. buds with some good chemistry, Jesse. Yeah, RVD had the, uh, the frog splash. It didn't even give me a chance to reverse it. I didn't even see the, you know, the prompt pop up. It, hit, it got hit clean. And uh, RVD picks up the victory over uh, she Sheamus and Andrew McIntyre. Great way for them to start. And uh, could they possibly believe and be the new number one contenders and go against Judgment Day in the future? Uh, what do you think a celebration of Riddle and RVD looks like? Uh, it's going to be... Uh, 
What, what was that one scene in The Last Dance? Uh, like a sage room? Oh. With Phil Jackson and, and Dennis Rodman. Yeah, Rodman it's going to be something Jordan. like that, all right? Yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, real foggy <laughs> back there. It's, I it's, should call their finisher the hot box. That would be kind of fun. That would be fire, right? Yeah, that would be kind of yeah. fun. All right, we got we to gotta, we gotta, uh, bookmark some <clears> things. <throat> But man, uh, co-main event up next. Singles tournament is yeah. coming to an end, but uh, we got two semifinal matches, I believe, up next. And for the co-main event of the night for Sunday Night Heat, ah, a we former have... member of uh, Bullet Club representing a uh, Christian shirt here today. Yeah, man, I had to throw on something. Yeah, I haven't worn this in a while. It was the like former a leader, the former leader of Bullet Club, uh, but he is now the leader. Uh, judgment Day. Would you consider him the leader? In universe mode, yeah. Maybe not in real life, because it looks like uh, him and Damian Priest are butting heads in long-term storytelling. I believe Damian Priest will be replaced by uh, J.D. McDonough, which could be really cool to see. Him, uh, Rhea, Finn, and Dominic Mysterio, uh, the new members of Judgment Day. And then Damian Priest gets his, you know, his own little run with the money bank in the case, and possibly becoming a world champion. Uh, the thing is, like, do you actually see Damian Priest being, like, a world heavyweight champion, like, kind of guy? Because uh, he is on Raw. He could, you know, go against Seth Rollins and beat him at any given day. He could be on Raw. At this moment, at probably not. Day. It's it's really hard because it He feels, is old, too. I think he's, like, 42 years old, so if, he's up there. It he, feels like when there's, like, two really, really good teams in the league, like when it was Cavs and Warriors, and you're kind of like, well... Is there really any other contenders? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how it feels like with Rollins and Roman right now. Like, yeah. even when Finn Balor was going up against Rollins, I was kind of like, all right. Like, I love Finn. I really do. That should should be a... He should have got his moment. And, you know, I, I agree. I agree it could have been a good moment for him. But the thing is, like, do you really see anybody beating LeBron James at the moment? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Do you really see anybody beating Steph Curry at the moment? Probably not. Um, no. Probably should let him rock, Jesse. And speaking of letting them rock, um, we should let him Brock because Brock Lesnar is double dutying tonight and if he does what he wants to do, he'll also be double dutying at SummerSlam, Jesse. Um, We've seen him do a lot <laughs> in, in Universe Mode Pass. Look at his season last year. Uh, if he's in a tag team with Shinsuke Nakamura and possibly getting a uh, maybe an Intercontinental Championship opportunity against a guy like Sami Zayn who he's beaten in the past. Or if you I know mean, he wins this singles tournament, he could go right to the top and uh, challenge Booker T. Regardless, guys. So how this tournament works is uh, it's been, I believe, 16 men. Uh, maybe even more. But um, the winner will get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship or the Universal Championship um, by Booker T, held by Booker T. And the loser of the finals We'll get a shot at Sami Zayn's Intercontinental title. So mm-hmm. whoever wins this will be at SummerSlam in some form of capacity. We just don't know yet if it's going to be for what championship. And I'm going to be Brock Lesnar tonight mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. And this is uh, this is Finn Balor's toughest battle th- thus far this season. Oh, come on. How did I not hit you right there? That's okay. Just got laid out with one punch. Oh, oh. Slim Blade. There we go. Um... But yeah, to answer your Damian Priest question, I'm going to be honest with you. I think I can. Um, again, though, Ooh, nice. I don't know about at this moment. Um, I, I really want... I feel like Rollins was playing musical chairs with that belt for a while, a championship belt in general. So mm. now that he has one, I do want him to have a significant ring. Oh, sure. And yeah. be a defending... Excuse me. And be... A defending champion, a great champion. Oh, I feel like even his first run with the world title wasn't the greatest run in the world, and he was kind of chicken that, shit. Uh, knee injury yeah. As well, yeah, and like his character, he he did great for what his character was, but he can be a he can be a great champion now, mm-hmm. and he was he's a heel back the then, so he couldn't be a great champion. Yeah, he wasn't part of the character. He's one of the best right now. Definitely one of the most over superstars in the world, besides you know Cody, LA Knight. Uh, guys like that as baby faces, but um, I I think the aura of somebody with a very good start here on Brock Lesnar. Yeah, um, absolutely. The, the aura of it's being seven years since he's been uh, world champion and you know losing or yeah losing that title after the the match where he hurt himself. Uh, 
against Seth Rollins. He came out with the seven written on his uh, injury. I still haven't seen the match. Shoulder, bro. Dude. Definitely the best. I, match I, I, did, I didn't see the Brock and Cody match either. <clears throat> um, it was solid, that, but Seth and Finn Balor definitely had a match of the night. Uh, it, was, it was, in my opinion, it was better than uh, Jay and Roman Reigns. It, that's. I know some people will probably think I'm crazy, but uh, I know a lot of people could probably say, yeah, Seth and Finn. That was probably their, probably their best match. They I mean, had I, I can see that happen. So, Finn Balor. Wow. Looking like he's a uh, world champion and back you know, in 2016. You might be able to blame stamina as an issue for Brock Lesnar, but he didn't really do much in that first no, time. He didn't. It was mostly just Shinsuke. Shinsuke did a lot of the load, um, <coughs> surprisingly so, and it was enough to take down Edge and Christian. Now he's going to have Ooh. to take down Balor all by himself, and we'll see how the corners get involved a little later. Um, yeah, Paul Heyman already got involved in uh, this matchup. Uh, he like was talking to Finn Balor, and oh. Finn was a little bit distracted there. Um, but yeah, could we see Damian Priest be world champion? I th I think Triple H might pull the trigger, to be honest, because he does like Damian Priest a lot. And could we see oh, Whoa. 1916 hit on Brock Lesnar? I'm not stunned. Okay, I'll go for the pin though. Maybe. Probably get for your resiliency. Yeah, that was a lot, though. That was a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm a little rough. I haven't broken out of the pin this time. But yeah, can... Oh, and he's holding the knee now. Can we see Damian Priest How be world champion? How'd you hurt your knee, Brock? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, triple, uh, uh, Damian Priest is an NXT guy, but I know he's really high on, obviously, Seth Rollins right now. But uh, we're just going to have to, you know, wait and see what... Triple H does in the meantime with Damian Priest having that money in the bank because Io Sky cashed in her money in the bank and now she is the new women's undisputed champion uh, winning at SummerSlam as well. I think that was a really cool moment. And uh, 1916, that could be it. That could really be it for Brock Lesnar. 1916 again. One, two... And a kick out. No resiliency. Okay. Kick out. That was a signature or finisher? That was, he has a 1916 as a finisher and a signature. Okay. Yeah. God damn. Hopefully I could put him in the corner of Judgment Day here. And Jess, if Brock Lesnar does do what he thinks <clears throat> he's going to do in both of these tournaments, his final boss battle for the tag team scene is Judgment Day. Mm -hmm. um, that who is who the winner of this overall tournament will get. And, uh... You know, we were just talking about Judgment Day in real life. I would have loved to see them with the tag team titles. I think that could have been a good path for them. Obviously, the Usos had their own story to tell and their mm -hmm. own run to do. Um, do you do you like that uh, Bloodline is getting a little bit of a breather right now? Yes. Yeah, so do I. Because I think the fans were also getting oh my very uh, kind of just, you know, drained of all the storytelling with, with you know, Jamie J, Roman, Solo, uh, the whole nine yards. That's when we got some from Black Lesnar. Um, but where does oh man where does Roman Reigns go from here is the <gasps> is the question you try to play Brock Lesnar and yeah. I just don't know who could be his next opponent um, it all depends on what Triple H wants to do and that's the vibe of there yeah kick it out of one wow Finn Balor just kicked that <clears> out of <throat> one Against Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Usually we good. see the opposite happen, Jess. That's in the corner of Nevermind. He brought me right back. Now these guys are picking it up. Uh oh. Ooh, near Shinsuke and Paul Heyman. Is Brock Lesnar going to do that? Yeah, he got that. Oh, jeez. That's a, that's a big knee. Yeah. Oh, and. Uh, Rhea Ripley no, going no, toward Brock Lesnar. I ain't, I ain't scared of Damian Priest. I'm scared of Rhea Ripley. Imagine that intergender match. I think they should win. That would be actually wild. Yeah. <clears throat> Intercepting Finn Balor literally as soon as he gets into the ring. Oh, nice. Uh oh. Alright, Finn. Here we go, man. 
1916. Uh-oh. Could this be it? Come on. Go for the pin. Get rid of that resiliency at least. One, two. Let's go. Wow. Okay. I played it close to the chest right there, it's, Jesse. It's getting interesting now because three of those have been hit on Brock Lesnar. Can we see another one? This first. What? Wow. These guys just like the, these guys know each other. Each other. Yeah. These guys know each other very yeah, they, well. They've battled in the past. <clears throat> Finn Balor, can he get through the beast? Rockless. Mommy, please save me. Oh, she's right there. She's thinking about it. She's like, do I riptide Brock Lesnar? What a scene that would be. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, we got to do a uh, an intergender match because there is a way in this game to do it. Uh, I remember telling Christian about mm -hmm. it. We just haven't downloaded well, Rhea Ripley was, she, Rhea Ripley was yeah, also right. in this show today, Jesse. She actually mm -hmm. laid out seven other women in it. <clears throat> so what's a Brock Lesnar? Oh. Brock Lesnar's in a lot of trouble right now. Could that be it? Oh, and... Looks like Shinsuke put in a chair. Two. Oh, okay. And I don't know who brought this chair in, but thank you, ref. I appreciate it. It could have been Paul Heyman. It could have been Shinsuke. Hi, and Finn Balor man. with an amazing performance here today. Sling blade. Uh-oh. Brock Lesnar is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Paul, Paul Heyman. Paul coming to his rescue. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Sean. Uh oh! Oh, and another. Uh, Kimura here. Ah, uh, yeah, I let go, I let go, I let go. Oh no. Resiliency. Oh! And the pinfall, and thank you, God. Damian Priest. Thank you. That was great. Right back at him. Your manager gets involved, so does mine. I think managers being. It's, it makes part all the of, difference. Yeah, part of. Uh, you know, if you, you if, if you have a manager in this game, it's just like you have the upper hand of, you know, possibly getting a distraction, you know, going from there and really just doing whatever possible to get a victory before the guy. I wish I had you would have five instead of freaking... Working on the knee here of Brock. And that was the knee he was holding oh, earlier, Jesse. It's a smart tactic. Yes, it is. Paul. You're really gonna just bark at me constantly, bro? I wanna roll up. Brock Lesnar! Try to win any means necessary! Nope. Oh, oh it's Rope Rope though. One, two, three! And Finn oh, Balor wow. rolls up Brock Lesnar and steals the victory. He did it. Wow, what a Finn performance! Balor from Finn Balor, <laughs> and I love how Rhea Ripley's celebrating right in front of Brock. Oh, uh, man. That's funny. Jess. Holding their invisible titles. What wow. a victory from Finn Balor. We were talking all about how Brock Lesnar can do double duty at SummerSlam. Let's not overlook the fact that this just guaranteed Finn Balor will be doing double duty, because he's going to have to defend the Tag Team Championships, mm -hmm. and now he either has Sami Zayn or he has Booker T. Yeah, that's a good so, match. Finn Balor is going to be a busy and booked man for SummerSlam, and uh, he might still see Brock Lesnar. It's still very possible. Yeah, it is. In one possible. tournament, if not the other. And um, I just can't believe he won here tonight. An incredible, impressive performance from the man, Finn Balor, and he moves on to the finals of the Gold Rush tournament. Now, who will he be facing? Huh. We're about to find out, ladies and gents, up next. And to cap off Raw's spectacular show thus far, man, Jess, this has been a hell of a show in my opinion. We've seen Rhea Ripley um, pretty much swallow alive seven other women. Mm -hmm. uh, we have saw Brock Amore clear their first round matchup in the tag team tournament. We saw Cody Rhodes defend his title. Then we obviously saw this episode, Finn Balor advance. We also seen in the first match what it really takes in the tag team tournament as we've seen best buds advance against the banger bros but jesse when it comes down to sunday night heat Ooh, I like those you can't spell monday night raw 
mean, yeah, you can't spell it without James, so technically. But you can't say main event without including the name main event J Uso. And that's what we got going on today. This is a crazy matchup here tonight. We talked about this man earlier as well. It is main event J Uso against in this universe mode, the former Intercontinental Championship, and in real life, the world heavyweight champion Seth freaking Rollins. Jess, what we got in store for our main event, the last semi-final matchup of the Gold Rush Tournament, the winner of this will go to SummerSlam in some form of capacity. Will it be for the IC belt? Will it be for the World Heavyweight Championship? I'm not sure just yet, but we're about to find out. We got Seth Rollins. We got main event Jey Uso. And we got a great matchup coming up right now. Jesse, I am going to be main event Jey Uso. It'll be so. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be a good match. I'm very good with Seth Rollins. Sometimes I, you know, I have my moments, but... Uh... Seth Rollins is in a league of his own when it comes to wrestling in the ring. And uh, hopefully he shows that here tonight. And uh, I get another victory here. And Seth Rollins uh, goes against Finn Balor uh, in the Gold Rush finale. Now, every time we've had Jey Uso in a singles match, he's done nothing but impress Jesse. But this is probably his hardest matchup, if not oh, the hardest for matchup. Sure. One of his toughest matchups in his career besides, you know, going against Roman Reigns, uh, obviously, in real life. Um... But Seth Rollins is, you know, the 1A. You know, you, you have, or no, excuse me, the 1B. You have, obviously, 1A being Roman Reigns. Well, I, and then, you know, Seth Rollins is right there. So. I don't even know if I consider Roman Reigns 1A. It's just, like, God tier. Like, you know what I mean? It's Yeah, he's a league of his own. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, I consider Seth Rollins a pretty 1A guy, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, Roman Reigns is just, like, S tier. If they don't do... Uh, the Bloodline Fatal 4-Way at uh, Royal Rumble or Survivor Series. I really want them to... Because I don't know if they're going to do uh, War Games again this year, which I think they should. Um, I also do like WWE only using things as necessary. Yes. Um, yeah. like, you know you have that in your pocket. Yeah. You don't, You can You can go back to a traditional Survivor mm -hmm. Series for Like a Roman year. Reigns versus Seth Rollins main event of Survivor Series. But yeah, finish that story. Uh, obviously, the last time they had a match, he won the disqualification, and Seth Rollins technically won, but obviously when you're a champion, you keep your title if you win that way. Um, so yeah, I would love to see Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns in Survivor Series if they do not do uh, the Fatal 4-Way Bloodline match. I think that match is coming regardless. I think we get it at Rumble. I think now that uh, the Bloodline storyline is taking its toll and taking a little bit of a breather... Um, <clears throat> so you're not buying Jey Uso just decided to retire? Uh, he's going to come back at Survivor yeah, Series. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's going to come back at Survivor Series for sure. Uh, if they're smart, he doesn't show his face at all uh, until Survivor Series. Uh, maybe they do Jimmy and Roman Reigns at Survivor Series and Jay comes back or something like that. Or maybe they do Roman Reigns and Solo versus... Uh, Jimmy, maybe they have a little triple threat. Who knows what, you know, they potentially do with the story. For oh! Her. Oh, I thought that actually reversed to that second one. Um, but uh, it all depends what they do from here with the story. I just don't know who is next for Roman Reigns as of right now, you know? Because, like, he, what's he going to do until Survivor Series or... That's or, such a long move. It is. It's flashy. It works. If um, it hits. Yeah, if it hits, yeah. I mean, it hits before, so. <sighs> yeah, I don't think it goes to the budget. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know who I see going against Roman Reigns. Maybe it'll be Jimmy. Uh, they're going to save the solo match and whatever else they do with the bloodline. Um, they're definitely going to save for a big pay-per-view like Survivor Series. Or Royal Rumble. And then I think the story's there, obviously. I, I've said it multiple times that Cody is going to get his rematch. He ducked! Uh, against Roman Reigns oh, at crap. WrestleMania in Philly, which uh, we failed at getting the, the, the tickets as a We did fail at getting tickets. It's, it sucks. Um, 90,000 plus seats sold in not even a week. 
Yeah. Kind of crazy. <laughs> free challenge. The only tickets available, <clears throat> and I got it. When it went live, I was there. And by the time my queue ended, the only tickets available was obstructed view seating. And then we had an opportunity to do StubHub, and no one decided to reply back to me in the group chat. Yeah, so I, was, I was at work. Everybody was working, yeah. I'm sure. But I wasn't going to like purchase tickets without people's approval. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for that. It is what it is. We'll I, see I, rem- I remember. I remember when we got tickets back in 2019. I want to um, say we didn't buy it off of resellers. I'm not sure. No, I don't think we did. But I remember. Oh, okay. Here we go. Could this be it for Jay Uso? Oh, my, Seth. Come on. Here we go. Ooh. Let's go, Jay. Let's go, Jay. Lucky man. But yeah, I remember when we went to the 2019 Mania uh, in New York or New Jersey. Uh, we didn't get those tickets, bro, until like January. Maybe we didn't buy it. We might have bought them off of like regular. But honestly, I feel like the price is up right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, bro, the, the prices to everything are obviously a lot you know, higher than than ever with really everything. Um, Did that? Did I get a roll? I think so. Oh, and Jimmy getting involved here, getting in the face of Seth while Jay rolls out and slides right back in. Nice momentum boost there for main event Jay Uso to take over, possibly. Let's go, Jay. Small drop. Right, yeah. Good matchup from both gentlemen. Yeah, Seth trying to roll out and get a little bit of a breather. Oh, I went for the knee. Roll Big up. roll up. That's what I said. It's a little harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, and I missed. Oh, beautiful knee right up the middle. And Seth Rollins looks good. Oh, man. I'm scared about this one, Jess. I'm scared about this one. I really want Jay to win. We know that Uso, well, the Blood Brothers got an early elimination against Pretty Deadly. Um, I would originally call it a fluke, but Ooh, there's no denying what happened. Misses. That's not a second reversal. Interesting. I feel like sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Except the wrong turn away. Smart. That doesn't hit you. That's it crazy. Jumped high as hell. That's crazy. Seth Rollins holding his, uh, his back there. And we set the match. Uh-oh. Look at that Enforcer solo. Ooh, what a matchup that would be. Solo and Seth. We haven't seen that in the universe. I haven't seen it yet, right? no. Yeah, that's a match I would love to see. Combination here from Seth Rollins. And it works. All of it works. Yes, it does. Oh, there's the elbow to the back of the head. Curb stomp. Goodbye. Could be it. I could be. I think Jay Uso's main event day is over, but Jimmy is doing a great job of being a big brother. But not this time. Two curb stomps. And that could be it. Ooh. One, two. Three! No resiliency needed. Main event Jay Uso with no resiliency needed. Another one. And another curb stop. Come on, ref. Here we go. One, two. Gotta use it that time. You gotta use it that time. And Seth Rollins is looking. I haven't hit one finish already. Like by the he's way. in God tier right now. He looks absolutely amazing tonight. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Give me something. I don't have a signature. I don't have a finisher. Oh, yeah, you go. Interesting. So, Sakoa making his way. And he lands! Wow, I didn't think you were actually going to hit that at all. Seth Rollins doing this what? all without any managers, so he's in the favor of Jey Uso to 
possibly get a, uh, a distraction at some point in the match, because he's had a few already for his, uh, his rope. No second, I guess I'll go this time. It's gonna stun me for sure. Yeah, that's something. Solo. Jay's gonna have to get Seth Rollins in here. Counts up to an 8. Definitely has enough time. Counts up to a 9. Oh, and it looks like Jimmy threw in a steel chair and the ref is distracted here. Focus on the right. Oh, oh my god. Is Bloodline doing anything possible for main event Jay Uso to get a victory here tonight. Surprised I don't have any You only used seven of them already. Of wow I missed that. I'm surprised I don't have a, a signature, because I reversed your Splash. I probably do, it's just, I don't know. With the HUDs being gone. <sighs> I need to just hit a finisher, man. I feel confident if I can hit the Ooh Splash, I'm good. So Thrones. Can I wait till Jay gets in? I was going to do something cool off the top rope there, but you already know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? Time up in the ropes. Foot, foot to the neck there. Puts Seth Rollins down for the time being. Solo will probably run over and come get Seth Rollins if I had to guess. Ooh. Oh my god. Solo, if you touch me, that's, for me. that's a DQ and that'll be a win for Seth Rollins. Oh man. Oh, and Jimmy, once again, getting involved here. They do such a good job with the managers in this game. Resiliency, please. Ooh, and a kick out of the two. I'm going to roll it back up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Wow, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Right. Super kick, yeah. There used to be a signature. I don't know why he uh, doesn't do it no more. That long super uh, kick. Ooh, kick to the body there. Oose. Come on, Oose. Into the corner, stuns me. What? That wasn't, you didn't hit X there? Oh, no, you guys with me, yeah. That makes sense. Oose Splash is definitely going to get hit here. Jimmy loves what he sees. I have it. Oose Splash hits. Come on. Bring it home, Oose. Bring it home. Oh, and we are both down to our final bullet in the chamber. Neck Five crank. stars has been completed. Neck crank hit there by Jay. Do you have mm -hmm. Gotta go for it. Oh, man. Let's go. Yo, Jimmy needs to be ejected, bro. He has gotten involved in this match way too many times. That's something, honestly, we don't even see in, uh, yeah, we this, seen this, in, in this game a lot is uh, universal, uh, like, ejections for the managers and stuff like that. Oh, no! You got stunned off of that. Interesting. Okay. I don't think I have a finisher, though, to be honest. Oh, yes, I do! That's it. Unless Jimmy gets involved again. That's it. It's gotta be. Let's go! Let's go, Jimbo! Let's go! Ref, are you kidding me, bro? Like, that, 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 that's insane. He's gotten involved in this match three times in, like, last, like, two minutes. What the fuck? Oh, man. Okay. That was my moment. That was Seth's moment, honestly. You were stunned. I had a... 
curb stomp too, and Jimmy gets involved for the 30th time in the damn match. Seth Rollins! Seth Rollins! What are you gonna do? No. I feel like I have to do something to Jimmy. Or see, bro, what is this ref? Like no warning, no ejection. Bloodline pays the bills, Jesse. Uh, Bloodline pays the bills. I'm not gonna win by roll up. I'll be cool. See, like I don't want to go in the corner because like Jimmy's right there, and every time I feel like I get close, it's you know sketchy because anything can happen. Oh, what a roll up from Seth! That could probably be it. One, two, Trace. Another roll up! God Seth damn it. <laughs> freaking Rollins gets uh, the victory and steals one from not just Jey Uso, no, but the, the bloodline. bloodline. Yeah. Wow. What a performance from Seth Rollins. And he gets the last laugh now. Yes, the crowd can sing it with him as Jimmy and Solo are very pissed off that their brother Jay just lost that match that way. But that was match of the night. That was match of the pay-per-view for sure. I won the last two via roll-up, but the matches were great. Finn Balor and Seth Rollins, they just had a match at SummerSlam for the World Heavyweight Championship. Can they uh, have another classic? And who will be the new number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship for Booker T? And who will be the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship? in uh, Sami Zayn. Wow, wow, wow. Great performance though from Jey Uso. He'll be back for sure. Mm -hmm. It's main event Jey Uso. He almost had Seth Rollins there uh, to the aid of Jimmy Uso a lot in that match. Um, I, gotta, I gotta honestly give yeah, him a finisher on the ground as well. Um, the top rope finisher is great, <clears throat> but the probability of hitting that compared to a grounded finisher, um, not necessarily grounded, but just a finisher that doesn't require you having to jump yeah. up, uh, will definitely make a difference. But ironically, I didn't do Rollins and Balor on this pay-per-view to avoid just the recenciness of mm -hmm. what we saw in real life. But sometimes, Jesse, the cream rises to the top, and we, we were just talking about Seth Rollins and how I feel like right now is probably more of his moment than... Finn Balor's, we're going to see if Finn Balor can change that whole tide and change that whole conversation because the man has a real shot at not only holding the tag team championships that he already does, but also has a shot at holding the illustrious World Heavyweight Universal Championship as well. So we're going to see how that pans out, but what a pay-per-view, what a show, what a night for Monday Night Raw, and it's only going to get better just because next up to record... It's Monday Night Raw. Another Raw. So, um, Gotta get that out the way. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good show. It's gonna be a good day for everybody except the New Day, unfortunately, still. Um, but, man, what a great match. What a great show. Sunday Night Heat, in my opinion, was a success. We won't have a post show for this one, but, guys, what do you think was match of the night? What do you think was performance of the night, upset of the night, moment of the night? All these questions, all these things that have to be answered. Let us know in the comment section down below and let us know in the Discord as well where we can extend the conversation past the comment section. With that being said, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, join that Discord, and go check out Demoitis everywhere you can find music. Uh, ring the bells, guys, get our new updated videos, and we'll see you on the other side of the universe. I got to put my phone in DD. Peace. I got vices, I'm vices, I'm in crisis, I write this I feel a little lost inside my mind, I can't find it I see visions, I'm psychic, I try to use it as guidance But truth be told, I know nothing I told you different, I'm lying, I don't know shit I be cool, I don't know shit I